will teach you how to get into a Windows 10 machine in case you get locked out. This will only allow you to log into the machine through the local account, not if you use a Microsoft account. Here we go. First, what we're going to need is a installation disk of Windows 10. It's either going to be a CD drive or you're going to need a thumbstick. Well, I have the thumbstick USB, so let's try it out. Start it. Should take a moment. A few things you want to make sure is that your EFI is disabled along with Secure Boot, which is in your BIOS. Usually you have to hit F2 or F10 depending on your system. Not all motherboards are the same to get in. Now, here we are at the setup. And what we're going to choose is whatever system you are. Since it's a 64 bit machine, we're going to choose 64. And it's going to be loading the file, so I should probably just take a moment. Since it's a USB drive and not a CD ROM base, it should be booting up very shortly. Here we have the Windows loading screen. Now from here, as you can see, we're at the Windows installation. As you can see, we're not going to use any of this. Instead, we're going to hit our the key F10 or Shift F10, and this will bring up the command prompt. Now, depending on the machine and how you have it set, it's most likely going to be C drive. But as you go here, we notice we have the C drive. Now what we're going to do is we're going to type in this in. I'll write it at the bottom of the comment. I'm going to type in move C windows. Oops. Move. Move C slash backslash windows system 32 backslash infoman exe. And then we're going to type in C slash Windows System 32. And we're going to make a backup copy of this. Ptlman.exe. Oh, wrong thing. In an extra backslash. I'm going to hit yes, but this since I've done this earlier, I'm going to hit no. And now I'm going to do a copy. C4 slash Windows, or better yet, I'm just going to hit up once, and I'm going to keep on going to hit left. Copy. And I'm going to navigate all the way to right here. Et man the first I'm gonna type in cmd and I'm gonna overwrite util man. I'm gonna hit yes. Now from here we're gonna restart Windows. But when you're going to issue the command EPEUTIL reboot, but as soon as we hit this, we're going to take off the USB. But after it's rebooting, otherwise, it's just going to execute this command off the USB stick or the CD drive you have. And we take it out. And we let it boot up. And we're gonna let it boot up again. And here we have at the start screen. And I'm gonna see my cursor. I'm gonna move it and click on the TLD manager, ease of access. Click on it. And now this hub brings up a command prompt.
technically it's not supposed to do this. It's supposed to bring up a manager to uh, help you access the computer more easily, but instead about this, which technically is a backdoor for retreating to the system. Now what we now you could do one of two things. If you just want to change your password because you forgot it, you would type in net user name of the computer name of the user account and you type in the password. As you can see it's just easiest one, two, three. We hit enter and command complete successfully. And we're gonna exit out of this. We can type in exit. Now, if we type it in, let's see, and else we're in. Let's say you want to add a local administrator group to this computer. So, here's what we do. We'll click on the ease of access, use our back door. We'll type in net user add or actually name of the account. In this case, admin forward slash add. And since this account already exists, let's Say we want to add them to the administrator group, so we're going to type in net local group administrators. My spelling's a bit off, so name of the account admin or slash add. Make it click successfully. And if we click on his name right down here, hit sign in. Notice with that we didn't have to put in a um, password. When we created it, created the account, we didn't specify one. So right now, it's gonna pretty much give us access to the entire computer, which could be quite dangerous. Why? And this is why this should be only used in case it's on your machine, not anyone else's, but yours. But Hey, it's up to you what you want to do with this power. But just so you know, this will only work on local accounts and machines, not networked accounts such as Active Directory or even the Microsoft Network Live ID thing. Problem with those is if the government subpoenas you for your password, yet you don't want to give it to them, but if you gave it to the Microsoft thing, problem is they're going to get the password from Microsoft because they're giving them a subpoena. So. You just may want to turn that off when you set up or install Windows 10. Hope this is a lesson for you. Have a good day. Before we go, I'd like to show you how to close the loophole in case you don't want anybody to go to create an account on your machine or be given God rights over your local machine also. What you would do is you would reboot the computer as we did before with the USB stick or the DVD drive you have with Windows 10 installation. And we open up the command prompt and Remember that file we named with the BAK? Instead, we're going to change name or copy command.exe.bak over btn.exe. Yes. And we're done. That should close up the back door in case you don't want anybody to get in through the door you use you create in order to access your system. I hope this helps you in the future. Have a good day.